What's going on YouTube? Wanted to make a quick video here, an update to my home theater room. Um, because I have not posted any video about it in quite some time. Um, I'm, I'm sure some of you subscribers will appreciate the fact that I'm starting to do these videos again. Um, I will try to upload some demo material um, and also just let you see what my um my little updates and upgrades that i do to my room uh, are all about and the equipment that i'm running with uh apologize for the lack of content as of late but here we go all right excuse the noise is about to pour down rain and uh It's going to get a little bit noisy out, but I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible. As you guys can see, there's a lot of things that are the same and a few touches that are different. Uh, as you guys will know, I haven't posted anything in quite a bit because of the fact that the equipment that I prior that I had prior to this video, uh, a lot of it I sold and a lot of it was changed. Uh, for you know one reason or another um, life happens so there was a lot of things that were missing in my theater room for the longest so I haven't been able to upload any demo material or anything um, when it comes to showing you guys any kind of updates to my room but little by little I will start to bring you more content uh, any little upgrade that I make, I will post. Um, a lot of this stuff that you see here will be familiar to you because it was replaced by the exact same equipment with the exception of a few. Um, for example, my SVS Prime Elevations, um, I had to sell at one point, so I have not been able to replace them. But I am working on that. So far, I've been using uh, the Sony uh, Elevation speakers, which, by the way, I may add, they are they sound pretty good. They match really well when it comes to timber uh, to my Klipsch Reference Premier line. They're not the greatest. Obviously, they're not the same quality or the same uh, ballpark of the SVS, but I must say they do their job and they do it well so for a couple of budget speakers they they handle themselves really well um but i am working on replacing those as you guys can see here these will look familiar to you but they're different because the ones the 280fs that i had in the past were replaced by the 280fas which now have the uh, Dolby Atmos driver and tweeter up on the top, which sound excellent. Now, I do not have them connected to my current receiver because um, this room is too small and I think it wouldn't be able to be a clean, separate channel from the elevation speakers that I have mounted on the wall. So, this is also the walnut color, as you guys can see here. I love this. This is what I've always wanted to purchase, the walnut in black. I just love the contrast. And I love the way it looks with black and also with the uh, entertainment console here. Matches perfectly in my opinion. They're beautiful. I love these speakers. I was able to buy them used. Uh, they look very, very well taken care of. They look brand new almost, but they're used. And I was able to get them open box. At a very good price um, and I'm very happy because they sound amazing just like my 280Fs did they're in great conditions and as you, as you can see they're beautiful amazing speakers I love the way they sound and the way they match with my front stage here so I also replaced the 450C the black uh, ebony one that I had with the matching walnut 450C. And as you can see, now everything matches perfect in the front. And it looks fantastic. 
I love the way it looks. Um, also, the TV is the same. I have not changed that. Now, I will upgrade it once this television decides to stop working or if uh, budget permits, I will upgrade it. Um, but so far, this TV still works excellent. It's the Sony XBR um, 940D from 2016. Supports Dolby, uh, excuse me, support HDR10. Um, it's 4K. It's a full array, a local dimming, and excellent picture quality still. Um, looks awesome, and I love it. I will not replace it until it starts to uh, give me problems, which hopefully is not anytime soon. Um, purchased this TV back in 2016 and still working very well, so uh, I'm very happy with it. So I have a few posters still. Some of these you will recognize and some you will not. Um, let me go ahead and take the grill off this speaker here. Now, another change that I made is the subwoofers. As you guys remember, I had the uh, PB12 NSD from SVS and I replaced it with two SVS um, PB1000, not the PB1000 Pro, the regular uh, PB1000, but this, these two bad boys go down to 19 hertz. These are the ported uh, front-faced subs. And wow, they sound amazing. They, they really pack a punch when it comes to this small room. This is a, a 12 by 13 room, so it's not very big. But as you can see, those two subs, <laughs> I, I, I honestly will say, compared to the um, 12 NSD, the single, going duels with uh, PB1000s was the perfect choice. I mean, they blend perfect with the clips, and they sound incredible. They, they're very, they deliver very clean and tight bass. Um, I feel like it actually sounds like it's even bass. It's not distorted and it's not boomy. It's, I was able to dial it in really well. And I love the way they both um, sound and they fill this room perfectly. Uh, um, I was able to get it again on sale. They were $3.99 a piece. So I was able to get both for about $800, which is <laughs> the price of one SVS subwoofer, a decent sub. That's what it will cost you. So Going dual with these was the perfect choice, in my opinion, and I, I, I'm very happy I went that direction. So, uh, in a future video, I will give you a little demo of how they sound. Um, let me show you some other things. I still have the Sony Mark II, the Blu ray player, 4K, 4K Blu ray player. Still have that. I think it's the X800 Mark II, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on that because I don't remember. And then the receiver that I have right now running these with is the Denon um, AVR X3400H. Now, as you guys remember, I had the X4500H, which, like I said, I, I had to uh, replace all the equipment for um, for other reasons. And I was able to snatch this one back uh, from uh, a family member, which was pretty much borrowing it when I replaced the uh, replaced it with the four forty five hundred H. And to be honest with you, this little guy delivers a great sound. Um, it does not. It's not as 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 powerful as the forty five hundred. But it does its job, and it does it really well, driving all these speak speakers by itself. So what I'm going to do, instead of spending another $1,500 on a 9.2 uh, receiver with a little bit more watts, what I'm going to do is I'm, going, I'm planning on buying the Emotiva uh, Basics 3 channel amplifier because this, one, this receiver has uh, pre-outs. So I plan to... Uh, 
uh, add an external amplifier to drive my front sound stage and that amplifier only cost around five hundred dollars i believe five hundred or five fifty so instead of spending you know um another fifteen hundred dollars on a, a receiver i rather just uh, add that external amplification to my speakers and they will sound even better because the receiver will not be driving all these speakers at the same time so that's my plan um it all depends like i said if i decide to replace it with um another receiver because as you guys know the new gaming consoles ps5 they support a uh, variable refresh rate so that receiver does not so that's something that i am aware of and eventually i will replace um but at the moment, uh, I really like the setup. Um, I got an old PS3 there, still there. Um, I really like the setup, so I am not planning on replacing the receiver anytime soon. Sounds really good. Has the Odyssey. Um, I believe it's the, um, the 32 for room correction. So it, 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 it's really good. And then I also have the power conditioner still, the MR4300, to deliver clean power to my equipment. And as you guys see, I still have a few, few statues from Diamond Select. Nothing big, nothing major, but just something that... Something to go with my Blu-ray collection you guys see here there's a few of my ps5 games and 4k blu-ray titles so yes um the room doesn't look the same as in the past with you know with the whole sideshow statues and everything like that but i i'm very proud of the uh equipment that i'm running with right now and slowly but surely i am going to get back to that equipment original equipment that i had um speaker wise though i i think i'm definitely pretty good with the choices that i made um with the exception like i said these are just filling in for now the sony uh which not to take anything away from them they're awesome they're great but they're not the svs prime elevations i will get those back and but uh I will wait until they're for their own sale because right now a pair is around five hundred, five hundred or six hundred dollars, and I think that's a little bit too much to pay for those. So I'm gonna wait until they go on sale, and then I'm gonna pull the trigger. And before I forget, I did add a third seat. So this one is a power recliner, and it's it's so comfortable, and it has, as you guys can see, LEDs on the cup holders reclines and it's very very comfortable i love it um it also has usb charging charging station right in there i don't know if you can see that it's gonna be a little hard to see but another great buy because i picked this seat up from sam's and it was on sale for 449 i think that was an excellent buy too uh, as you can see, these are my old chairs, but they still do their purpose and they still serve their purpose and they're very comfortable still. These are manual. This one and that one over there are manual, but they still um, do their job. I added a little bit more uh, foam, acoustic foam on the room, kind of to get the sound a little bit more clean. And so before this video gets even longer, um, I'm going to play a little bit of a demo here. Hopefully you can hear it. But like I said, you won't be able to tell the difference because this is a com YouTube compression. So this is how the room looks when I'm seating down on my chair. And I'm going to play a short video here for you guys.
that came up through okay. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, quick update of my home theater room. Um, absolutely love this setup. Like I said, I will be making updates as soon as I make any kind of changes. If I decide to replace the receiver, maybe add the external amplifier to these speakers. Um, if I decide to change anything else, you guys will be the first to know. Hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you guys subscribe to my channel for more content like this as well as my Toyota Tundra TRD Pro videos. Um, thank you for subscribing, for following the channel for as long as you have. I know it's been a while since I've up uploaded anything for my home theater room, but uh, I will start to upload things a little more consistent for you guys. So uh, I'm going to play one more little demo here before I finish the video. So hopefully it doesn't get blocked by copyright, by the way.
guys for watching hopefully this video doesn't get blocked if you have any questions regarding any of the uh, equipment that you see here uh, let me know go ahead and leave a comment I'll try to reply until next video thank you for watching and please subscribe